Jehoram, Ahaziah, and Athaliah, chapters 21 through 23 of Second Chronicles, King James Version of the Bible, chapter 21. Now Jehoshaphat slept with his fathers and was buried with his fathers in the city of David, and Jehoram, his son, reigned in his stead. And he had brethren, the sons of Jehoshaphat, Azariah, and Jehiel, and Zechariah, and Azariah, and Michael, and Shephatiah. All these were the sons of Jehoshaphat, king of Israel. And their father gave them great gifts of silver, and of gold, and of precious things with fenced cities in Judah. But the kingdom gave he to Jehoram, because he was the firstborn. Now when Jehoram was risen up to the kingdom of his father, he strengthened himself and slew all his brethren with the sword, and diverse also of the princes of Israel. Jehoram was thirty and two years old when he began to reign, and he reigned eight years in Jerusalem. And he walked in the way of the kings of Israel, like as did the house of Ahab. For he had the daughter of Ahab to wife, and he wrought that which was evil in the eyes of the Lord." Howbeit the Lord would not destroy the house of David because of the covenant that he made with David, and as he promised to give a light to him and to his sons forever. In his days the Edomites revolted from under the dominion of Judah and made themselves a king. Then Jehoram went forth with his princes and all his chariots with him, and he rose up by night and smote the Edomites, which compassed him in, and the captains of the chariots. So the Edomites revolted from under the hand of Judah unto this day. The same time also did Libna revolt from under his hand because he had forsaken the Lord God of his fathers. Moreover, he made high places in the mountains of Judah and caused the inhabitants of Jerusalem to commit fornication and compelled Judah thereto. And there came a writing to him from Elijah the prophet saying, Thus saith the Lord God of David thy father, because thou hast not walked in the ways of Jehoshaphat, thy father, nor in the ways of Asa, king of Judah, but hast walked in the way of the kings of Israel, and hast made Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem to go a-whoring, like to the whoredoms of the house of Ahab, and also hast slain thy brethren of thy father's house, which were better than thyself. Behold, with a great plague will the Lord smite thy people, and thy children, and thy wives, and all thy gods. And thou shalt have great sickness by disease of thy bowels, and to thy bowels fall out by reason of the sickness day by day. Moreover, the Lord stirred up against Jehoram the spirit of the Philistines and of the Arabians that were near the Ethiopians. And they came up into Judah and break into it and carried away all the substance that was found in the king's house and his sons also, and his wives, so that there was never a son left him, save Jehoaz, the youngest of his sons. And after all this, the Lord smote him in his bowels with an incurable disease. And it came to pass that in process of time, after the end of two years, his bowels fell out by reason of his sickness. So he died of sore diseases, and his people made no burning for him like the burning of his father's. Thirty and two years old was he when he began to reign, and he reigned in Jerusalem eight years and departed without being desired. Howbeit they buried him in the city of David, but not in the sepulchres of the kings. 22. And the inhabitants of Jerusalem made Ahaziah, his youngest son, king in his stead, for the band of men that came with the Arabians to the camp, had slain all the eldest. So Ahaziah, the son of Jehoram, king of Judah, reigned. Forty and two years old was Ahaziah when he began to reign, and he reigned one year in Jerusalem. His mother's name also was Athaliah, the daughter of Omri. He also walked in the ways of the house of Ahab, for his mother was his counselor to do wickedly. Wherefore he did evil in the sight of the Lord, like the house of Ahab, for they were his counselors after the death of his father to his destruction. He walked also after their counsel and went with Jehoram, the son of Ahab, king of Israel, to war against Hazael, king of Syria, at Romoth Gilead, and the Syrians smote Joram. And he returned to be healed in Jezreel, 
because of the wounds which were given him at Ramah when he fought with Hazael, king of Syria, and Azariah, the son of Jehoram, king of Judah, went down to see Jehoram, the son of Ahab, at Jezreel, because he was sick. And the destruction of Ahaziah was of God by coming to Joram. For when he was come, he went out with Jehoram against Jehu, the son of Nimshi, whom the Lord had anointed to cut off the house of Ahab. And it came to pass that when Jehu was executing judgment upon the house of Ahab and found the princes of Judah and the sons of the brethren of Ahaziah that ministered to Ahaziah, he slew them and he sought Ahaziah and they caught him for he was hid in Samaria and brought him to Jehu. And when they had slain him, they buried him because said they, he is the son of Jehoshaphat who sought the Lord with all his heart. So the house of Ahaziah had no power to keep still the kingdom. But when Athaliah, the mother of Ahaziah, saw that her son was dead, she arose and destroyed all the seed royal of the house of Judah. But Jehoshabeath, the daughter of the king, took Joash, the son of Ahaziah, and stole him from among the king's sons that were slain and put him and his nurse in a bedchamber. So Jehoshabeath, the daughter of King Jehoram, the wife of Jehoiada, the priest, for she was the sister of Ahaziah, hid him from Athaliah, so that she slew him not. And he was with them hid in the house of God six years, and Athaliah reigned over the land. Chapter 23. And in the seventh year, Jehoiada strengthened himself and took the captains of hundreds, Azariah, the son of Jeho Jeroham, and Ishmael, the son of Jehohanan, and Azariah, the son of Obed, and Maasiah, the son of Adiah, and Elishaphat, the son of Zikri, into covenant with him. And they went about in Judah and gathered the Levites out of all the cities of Judah and the chief of the fathers of Israel, and they came to Jerusalem. And all the congregation made a covenant with the king and the house of God. And he said unto them, Behold, the king's son shall reign as the Lord has said of the sons of David. This is the thing that ye shall do. A third part of you entering on the Sabbath of the priests and of the Levites shall be porters of the doors. And a third part shall be at the king's house and a third part at the gate of the foundation. And all the people shall be in the courts of the house of the Lord. But let none come into the house of the Lord, save the priests. And they that minister of the Levites, they shall go in, for they are holy, but all the people shall keep the watch of the Lord. And the Levites shall compass the king round about, every man in his with his weapons in his hand, and whosoever else cometh into the house, he shall be put to death. But be ye with the king when he cometh in, and when he goeth out. So the Levites and all Judah did according to all things that Jehoiada the priest had commanded, and took every man his men that were to come in on the Sabbath, with them that we were to go out on the Sabbath. For Jehoiada the priest dismissed not the courses. Moreover, Jehoiada the priest delivered to the captains of hundred spears and bucklers and shields that had been King David's, which were in the house of God. And he set all the people, every man having his weapon in his hand from the right side of the temple to the left side of the temple, along by the altar and the temple by the king round about. Then they brought out the king's son and put upon him the crown and gave him the testimony and made him king. And Jehoiada and his sons anointed him and said, God save the king. Now when Athaliah heard the noise of the people running and praising the king, she came to the people into the house of the Lord. And she looked and behold, the king stood at his pillar at the entering in and the princes and the trumpets by the king and all the people of the land rejoiced and sounded with trumpets. Also the singers with instruments of music and such as taught to sing praise. Then Athaliah rent her clothes and said, Treason, treason. Jehoiada, the priest, brought out the captains of hundreds that were set over the host and said unto them, Have her forth of the ranges, and whoso followeth her, let him be slain with the sword. For the priest said, Slay her not in the house of the Lord. 
So they laid hands on her, and when she was come to the entering of the horse gate by the king's house, they slew her there. And Jehoiada made a covenant between him and between all the people and between the king that they should be the Lord's people. Then all the people went to the house of Baal and break it down, break his altars and his images and pieces and slew Matan, the priest of Baal, before the altars. Also, Jehoiada appointed the offices of the house of the Lord by the hand of the priests, the Levites, whom David had distributed in the house of the Lord to offer the burnt offerings of the Lord, as it is written in the law of Moses with rejoicing and with singing as it was ordained by David. And he set the porters at the gates of the house of the Lord, that none which was unclean in anything should enter in. And he took the captains of hundreds and the nobles and the governors of the people and all the people of the land and brought down the king from the house of the Lord. And they came through the high gate into the king's house and set the king upon the throne of the kingdom. And all the people of the land rejoiced, and the city was quiet. After that, they had slain Athaliah with the sword.